What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. And excuse uh, any type of different sound you're hearing from me. My allergies are acting up yet again. Um, but we needed to talk about um, naked shorts. We need to talk about um, the hedge funds and what illegal activity that they're doing. I know a lot of people wanted me to talk about this yesterday, and I didn't make a video on it. I made three videos, but you know, one of them uh, pertained to AMC, and I didn't cover this actually because my allergies were acting up then. So I had to shut it down a little bit, uh, very, very quick. So uh, yeah, anyways, we need to talk about uh, Naked Shorts and AMC. Now, before we get started, make sure you guys hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one. And make sure that you get your free stocks with Weeble down below. Don't forget to check out some of the links in the description. It does help the channel out. Now, if you're not familiar with what Naked Shorts are, basically it's, uh, you know, they have an amount of short shares that they're allowed to trade, that they're allowed to short. And uh, once they're out of those shorts, they could basically, you know, they can't really do anything. However, we do know the term naked shorts, which means that they have no real meaning behind it besides the fact of driving this price down. So they're going to be, you know, shorting it without um, actually having short shares available. So we were coming up with this and, you know, basically saying, obviously, there's, there's more detail to it. But uh, we were talking about this and we never had any confirmation from anybody, you know, whether it was, you know, businesses, you know, uh, the news, anything like that. And when we think about it, we're like, all right, well, there's a lot of people asking, is this real? And now if they would have came out and said they're short ladder attacks, then we would have been like, oh, wow. You know, that would have been just another, like, <clears throat> I don't know, cherry on top, basically. But uh, they came out and, uh, you know, said something about naked shorts. And there's this uh, clip going around that I haven't done anything on. There are people that were talk talking about it. But I wanted to talk about two pieces. I wanted to talk about, one, the Adam Aaron interview with uh, Trace Trades. And two, the CNBC um you know, and the full clip basically go through that and, you know, break that down as well. So first let's go over here and let's start with, um, the trades trades interview. Now this is, uh, this was a talked about topic for a while, basically trying to understand what it actually means. It's when, um, Adam Aaron, oh, this is the wrong one. When Adam Aaron actually, um, you know, lost his camera and it went down and it re revealed that he didn't have any pants on. Right. So let's take a look at this real quick. Sorry, this is not plugged in. Thought it was. That's fine. We'll figure it out. We're learning on the fly. All right, here we go. And right now, we don't have that. Uh, we don't have that. Do cool. you see that? At our disposal. Shares. Let's go back. That. And right now, we don't have that. So you, I pause game is on point, but you can see that he doesn't have any pants on. Now, the meaning behind this, a lot of people thought, hey, you know what? Uh, that means that they had the shorts haven't covered. And uh, I don't know if there truly is meaning behind it, uh, but uh, it does seem that way. Now, um, when it comes to uh, this interview, we're going to watch this and we're going to break this down um, and try and get an understanding of what they actually meant here and how exciting it actually is. So uh, they're going through this full interview. It's two minutes long. So uh, you're going to be able to see the full context and I'll break it down as it does, you know, go along. So for a long time. And I think it, it just seems like the retail investor has the upper hand. He conceded that AMC shares are probably not worth what they're worth right now on a fundamental basis. Maybe they're worth 20 or 25 bucks a share. But he also said that at 47 or whatever it's trading at right now, I don't know what it is in the after hours, um, that that is what the market is valuing AMC shares at right now. And that is all that matters. And Tim, you're already shaking your head. Why not? Why, why isn't that the case? They always like to stick to this narrative of, you know, I don't know. They, they like to take somebody's words and then run with it as long as it fits their narrative, you know? Sorry for, like, the congestion. It sounds weird to me, but, you know, I'm going to have to live with it. So hopefully you're okay. Because short sellers aren't going after retail investors. They're going after bad companies. I mean, it's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Smart guy. This is what I don't understand. I mean, that that shouldn't be a thing. They're going after bad companies. They're not going after bad companies. They're going after companies that have the possibility of going bankrupt based on a viral pandemic. They're going after retail investors now. 
They're shorting as much as they can in order to take money. When It's not about just the bad company. When you're in the investment, there's a winner and there's a loser. One person makes money, one person loses money. If they're going after this company and other people are uh, basically uh, buying up the stock, they're going after the people that are buying up the stock. It's simple. Guy, but I mean, come on. I, I'm tired of this and this, you know, this going after the man thing. I mean, look, it, it, yes, you can make money in momentum. You can lose money in momentum. But again, it's like Mr. Obvious Day. All right. That that to me is a dynamic here um, that, that, that ultimately the momentum that's being uh, where the genesis is in a chat room. It, it, and, and yeah, I mean, price can be truth in terms of a company being able to issue shares at a higher price doesn't change the company's business. Uh, Rich Greenfield also talked about Cinemark and other theater companies that aren't going through this kind of renaissance. Uh, and I mean, in terms of their share price. So, uh, again, I, I, I the investing with a incentive to track momentum is what a lot of professionals do. So mm -hmm. let's be clear. Um, but in terms of looking at this as an us versus them, um, I, I'm sorry, I'm not I'm not buying into that. I think that's dangerous. And, and again, look, there's a lot of people. There are a lot of short sellers out there that have been borrowing stock they didn't have. In other words, yes, I think there are dynamics shorts, where yeah. retail investors can get caught. But it's 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 really a, a dynamic. See, they, I, I don't know if you've seen it, but she said naked shorts. Yeah. So uh, her face was absolutely priceless talking about how uh, even mentioning the, the phrase naked shorts is kind of, you know, making a lot of people excited, making a lot of apes excited. And um, it, it's crazy to hear anybody say it on news, you know, on articles, whatever it is. And now we're starting to really get this clip out there. And she's confirming that, yeah, we know what naked shorts are. That, that's a, that's a thing they do all the time. That's the thing that, that's uh, going to basically take advantage of the situation. And he's, he's saying it for himself, you know, talking about how they, they're borrowing shares they don't have. She's confirming, yes, naked shorts, you know, and then uh, it's just it's just ridiculous. Let's watch the rest of the clip, see if there's anything Dynamic else interesting. This is going after bad companies. Yeah, but here's what's interesting. It is actually changing what Wall Street does, how it does it. Um, there's a report on Bloomberg saying that various prime brokers are tightening the requirements um, necessary in order to short some of these so-called meme stocks. Guy, I know you pointed this out. There's some firms that threw in the towel in terms of coverage of companies like a GameStop and an AMC because they are so divorced from what they call fundamentals at this point in terms of their price action. I mean, whether or not we like it, whether or not it's here to stay at this moment in time, Wall Street is taking notice because they are. All right. Well, I guess they didn't finish the full clip, but it, it's cool. Um, so let me let me exit this. So. Um, the, the thing we want to take from this is that one, the, the media is coming out and saying that they know that they're borrowing shares they don't have. And uh, she confirmed that it's naked shorts. Now, that makes us feel amazing about the situation makes us feel that much better to hold and um, to hold on to this situation to grow as much as they can. Now, they like to hold on to this narrative of, you know, it's only worth half of what it's at now. That's not even, we're not even worried about that right now. The fundamentals do not matter because the fundamentals didn't matter when the hedge fund started to short a company out of existence that was struggling over a, a pandemic. It makes no sense to try and take down a company, uh, you know, <laughs> that hard when they're just trying to claw their way back. I mean, they've worked how hard to get their company up and running and you just want to bankrupt them because they're a publicly traded company and you can make some money from it. So to say they're going after the bad company is ridiculous. I mean, you're going after the people that are holding the shares of that bad company, you know, and it's not necessarily the fact that it is a bad company. It's the fact that um, they believe that the fundamentals don't line up and make it a bad company, uh, quote unquote. And uh, it's not. Everybody loves to go to the movies. You're not taking another childhood thing away from me. You know, we lost like Blockbuster. We lost Toys R Us. Like Toys R Us was a big part of my life. Blockbuster was also a big part of my life. I love movies, whether it's at the movies or going to get a physical movie, renting it, put, uh, you know, watching it, taking it back, all that other stuff. Um, but you know, it, it's just, it's just ridiculous. And, uh, I think it's, I think it's amazing that they even mentioned this. So we might see some really big pushes next, next week. Uh, 
you know, a couple of days we might see those, but my allergies are really acting up, so I have to get out of here. Uh, let me know what you think about this. I've seen a number of videos out there reacting to it, but make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you get your free stocks with Weeble down below, and, uh, you know, check out some of the other links. But I'm going to get out of here, and I'll catch you guys in the next